Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome in. It is Dion with the Blushing Mint. I am so excited to have you guys join me. Um, we are on our last week of January, friends. We are about to round out the first month of a new year, and I hope you guys have um, been enjoying every minute of your January, that things are just going fantastic for you. Um, I'm excited to have you guys here for this full deck challenge, and um, I just want to thank you uh, for joining me. I want to welcome all of our new subscribers. I want to um, say hello to all of those who have been with me for a long time. I truly, truly cherish each and every one of you, and I'm just so grateful to have you guys um, to have you guys checking out um, my channel and hanging out with me, and especially um, for uh, picking up this challenge and running with it. I'm I'm just super excited. I love seeing the projects that you guys are sharing with me. You're using the hashtag TBM2024 Full Deck Challenge for me, so I can find you and I can comment and um, I can support your art endeavors as well. Um, so week five, the last week of the month, brings us to the letter E. And um, for that, I'm doing the word enjoy. And our method or style is embossed. So we have our challenge hashtag, the letter E. The word is enjoy. And our style or method is embossed. Now, Embossed can be a couple different things, friends. Um, it could be, I'm hoping you can see this, it could be paper that has been put through an embossing machine, um, or it could be a stamped image that has been embossed with embossing powder using a watermark um, like Versamark or an embossing ink pad, and then the um, covered with embossing powder and heated with a heat tool to get that glossy finish. So um, those are some ways to do embossing. If you don't have those, any of these tools available, an embossing machine, embossing powders or inks, um, another thing that you can do is get some um, tin foil or aluminum foil, whatever they call it these days, get some foil, make a, make a couple different um, layers of foil, lay a stencil over the top of it, and lightly use a pencil or a um, um, one of these tools. I don't even, off the top of my head, I can't even think of what they're called. Um, but just get something with a, a more blunt end and rub through your stencil onto your tin foil, and it will create a um, it will create an embossed image as well. So that is a way to incorporate embossing without having to, or make a random pattern on the tin foil with your little round um, dot tool. Um, just make a random pa pattern on your foil. Um, that is a great way to just get embossing without having to have any expensive embossing tools or anything like that. So, anyhow, let's get to it, friends. Um, I have chosen the five of clubs because it is week five. And then um, I have this piece of embossed paper. And I don't know, there's just something about it. I, I like it a lot. And then I found this piece of a patterned paper. It comes from... A kit that honestly I think I picked up off of a scrapbook site, a sale site or something. Um, and so I have this and it's got a little bit of a pink reddish pattern plus the red of the butterfly. And I kind of like that in the juxtaposition of the black card. And um, so yeah, so here is here is my little ring so far, you guys. I am... Gosh, I just love this. I'm I'm just I'm so tickled and I hope you guys are are finding the joy in your own projects. I hope you are really coming to love those as well because this is just a fun fun little project. So, I've got my little papers. Um I found a little saying that says enjoy your journey 
And I've got a couple tags here because I just kind of liked the blue with the, I, I don't even know what I'm doing, friends. I really don't. Let's just get to making something here. If I can get some, oh, goodness. You know, I don't know why I do that to myself. You know, like, why don't I use the cap? I don't know, friends. I don't know, because I like to do that things the hard way. And um, that's just, that's just me. One of these, one of these videos, I'm actually going to learn to just not. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I will. I don't know. It's possible. So anyhow, um, clear gesso, remember, you can also use whatever glue medium you have. Glue stick, regular glue. If you need to make a decoupage glue, two parts glue, one part water, just regular school glue works perfect. So what I am going to start with. <laughs> How do I want to start this? I've got a bunch of. I've got a bunch of little things beside me here, friends. I just, I keep my little scraps over to the side of me and um, maybe I'll just lay this down here to get started. I don't know. I'm just covering up the, covering up the white. I'm probably going to end up covering up this whole card, but you know, you just, I just, I never know. I never know till I know. Um, I just don't. I just don't know. So, anyhow, um, let's see. What can I tell you? So, enjoy. Let's see. So, enjoy is, for this year, is just really being present in my moments. Whatever kind of chaos they may create, I just need to be more present in enjoying the minutes that I have. And um, so that is something I want to be working on. And I don't know why I love this paper, but man, I do. I just do. I want to know that it was embossed. I want it to show as embossed. Um, so this was, this is leftover paper from a project that I did for Christmas in July, which was my last big journal series um, before life went out of control a little bit. Um, so I did a series of Christmas in July projects and holy bats did my channel go crazy during that series. It was amazing. It was, it was incredible. Um, and I had so much fun during that series. Um, but I also realized in that moment how, um, Whew, how important it is to be organized, and um, thankfully, I did some videos ahead. Um, I got a little bit ahead of the game in that series, um, and thankfully I did because, man, I never would have, I never would have been able to finish it otherwise, so that's why um, that's how I learned that it's important to film ahead because my life is not a, my life is not one where I know that I'm just going to be hanging out at home. Um, I'm busy. I am in multiple different places in a week. And so um, that july christmas and july series really showed me how important it is to have it together um so i kind of lost my embossing effect 
when I put it on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does that make me feel? That doesn't make me feel good because that's part of the challenge here. Let's see what I can do. If I can change that with another layer. I don't know. I don't know if I can or not. I don't know. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose the embossed. I don't know, friends. I don't know. And if not, I'll just emboss something over the top. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know where I'm going with this one. Um, I don't have a clear, I don't have a clear vision for this card. I mean, I, I have some thoughts, but my vision is definitely not clear on this card. So... Um, I'm going to dry this a little bit because I think I need to do that. That shows the embossing a little bit better on that. So I like that. I'm going to stick with that. Um, enjoy your journey. Let's see. And then I have these blue... Um, I found these blue tags in um, some random ephemera that I have. And I just kind of liked the blue with the red. So I think I'm going to maybe try to use those in here. Life is a journey. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, and these came from like Timu or something. So some of the writing's right side up. Some of it's upside down. Um, that's just, that's just buying stuff from a cheap location, friends. It's not perfect. That is for sure. So I like this red butterfly here. So I'm just going to. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to try. Man, I don't have the heat up. I mean, the heat is on in my shed here. Um, but geez, the wind is blowing. Well, I live in Livingston, Montana, friends. So those of you who don't know, I live in Livingston, Montana, and it is always freaking windy here. It's just nuts. And um, the wind sucks the heat out of everything. And so my craft space is super windy or is um, super hot today because the heat is on, but it's almost too hot in here and it's set at 55 degrees. So because the wind just sucks the heat out of everything. And so the heat just thinks it needs to continue to run. And it's like, no, stop, stop running. I don't, I don't, I don't need more heat. Don't need more heat. I'm going to trim this tag down a little bit. I don't need all this extra color on it. Just takes up too much, too much real estate on a little playing card. You know what I'm saying, friends? We only have so much real estate on our little cards to work with. We don't need one element taken every last, every last bit we've got here. Um, I don't know if I want this down here. Um, you know what I feel like I need? I need some um, cheesecloth. Like, 
you do like let's see <laughs> <laughs> Might have to pause you already, friends, because I don't even know what I'm doing. Hang on. Gone for that um, little, oh, what should have been a brief moment of looking for my cheesecloth. Oh, my. Telling you, time to do some, time to do some cleaning in here because I can't find the basic things. And guess what? It was right next to me the whole time. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm telling you. All right, so I got to do something about this perfectly straight edge on this butterfly because that's just not okay in my world. Um, I want to have some texture in here. And... I want to have I want to have like the world like I'm pausing you again friends I'm sorry I needed to have it together this is another hot mess this should be a hot mess Monday video but instead it's a it's still a full deck challenge video but hang on have an idea for where my card or yeah for where my project is going but I want to have the world on here and so um, I'm gonna grab this stamp and I think I need a bigger block and I will Um, emboss this, even though I've got my embossed paper, um, I think I'm going to emboss this down here with actual, I grabbed my armored gold. Um, embossing powder. This is, you guys, I don't even know if these things are made. These are like 20 years old, seriously. Um, and I have my embossing pad. And then this is just an embossing tray um, where you can put your, you stamp it. Then you push your um, extra embossing powder in there and then it will go right back into your container. Okay. Stamp it there. Dump my embossing powder over the top of it here look it's all chunked up and everything I haven't used this stuff in forever love okay dump that like so set that aside that way and then I just need to get my little heat tool here emboss that till it turns the color here hopefully hopefully it will still work oh yes lovely can you see it starting to turn down here? Lovely. I haven't done embossing in forever. Like, I actually kind of forget about it, to be honest with you. I used to do it a lot in card making. 
because um, I used to do a lot of card making and scrapbooking 25 plus years ago. But I don't think about it for journal making, and I should. <coughs> I don't know why that center is not heating. struggling a little bit to get all that powder melted for some sort for some reason I just don't know why this card's gonna be hot don't touch if you've embossed don't touch it's hot FYI So it's not perfectly smooth and whatnot, but you know what? It's okay. I get the I I get the I get the feel of what I'm looking for here. Then I'm going to ink up this little saying here. Enjoy your journey. That's what life is all about, isn't it? Just the little things. And the little things are really the big things. Okay. And the butterfly just kind of to me is going to represent like the freedom to fly and enjoy what comes my way. It's kind of my thought process here. Losing part of my red pink that kind of brings it all together, but I don't dislike any of it here so far. Kind of a hodgepodge difference from my other ones. But that's that's what's fun about this project is each week is kind of like just a different a different thought, a different feeling, a different whatever you're going through kind of thing. Um, each week can have be completely different about how you feel and wow isn't that nice how nice that comes out when I don't like just dump it out good lord friends I'm telling you some days I'm special I'm special friends but thanks for hanging out with me it means a lot to me that even though I'm this special you still come to watch the hot mess that I am don't give up on me baby um, sorry, I, I do break out in random song. Um, sometimes it's, who knows, it's just music is, music is my world. And um, I used to be able to sing until COVID and now I really can't sing well, but um, I still do it. I still do it just to entertain <laughs> Just to entertain myself more than anything, really, I think, because I'm like, whoa, wouldn't that have been amazing if I actually, like, could sing again? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, well, those were the days. Those were the days, my friend. Those were the days, my friend. Just <sighs> fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so make sure you guys are commenting, sharing, liking, subscribing, doing all those things because, hey, this is the last video of the month and just saying, I might possibly be doing something fun. 
It might be a surprise. So make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe, etc. Um, yeah, okay, but I need to use art glitter glue because now that I put the cheesecloth down there, oh my goodness, I am telling you, art glitter glue is just a special, it is, it can be so finicky, the, um, The tip of the art glitter glue so easily clogs. It's ridiculous, but I like the precision and I like how fast and how well it adheres things. But man, it can be a huge challenge. Huge, huge challenge. Mm -hmm. Give this a bit of a buzz cut here because I don't need all of that. Oh, the dogs are outside. My dog is having a play day today with the neighbor's dog and they're outside and my dog is being a whiner because he wants to come in. He's just a whiner, whiner boy. Okay, now, did I want to look at this tag I might cut this a bit put that down there I actually think this might be a sticker, so hold the phone. Let me see if this is actually a sticker. That actually might be the neighbor's dog whining. I don't know. It's one of the dogs whining. If you hear them. They honestly have been outside, like, because while I was looking for the cheesecloth I actually went and let the dogs out so it's not like they've been outside forever but I think they think that they have and it's not even a cold day today okay perfect just a little extra color I don't know friends I really don't even know what I'm doing here I'm just I'm just layering things things that I like that's the beauty of this project it can be, just be whatever Things I like enjoy your journey because that's what it's all about. Enjoy is the word, embossed is the technique, and everything else is just a special guest star in the journey. Okay, these poor scissors are going to hate me. I need to get some alcohol and clean them off. Okay, let's dry. Give it a dry. Give it a little dry. We've got to give it a good ink. Then we've got to do the back still. Let's see. You know, I love this embossed paper so much. I actually might just put it on the back of this one. Why? Because I can. That's why. That is why, my friends, because I can. For no other reason. That is why. Oh, I just did that. Can you believe it? FYI, when you are heating, um, when you are drying, yeah, did you see what I just did? The heat reheats the emboss powder. So.
So I stuck that to melt that glue a little bit more and I stuck it right in that embossing powder and yes, 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 it took some of that embossing powder away. Do, do, do. It is okay. It's okay. It is okay. Let me just get that into my water source here real quick. See if I can get that off of there. It's all right. It's okay. Everything is fixable. Okay. Now that embossing powder is still hot. Give it a quick fan to dry that embossing powder before I turn it over here and um, set myself up to put some paper on the back here. that up with my clear gesso get my corners good not that this is gonna come out but I can try Okay, and then I'm just going to lay this on here because it's cute and I like it. And find my little you hear my dog. It is my dog. He is being such a whiny little boy. A whiny, whiny little boy. He thinks he's not going to make it in life. Cooper Reed, you are okay. Cooper. Sorry, friends. He, for those of you who are new here, my dog is a beagle. He is a rescue. He has anxiety. Like his mother. And, um, yeah, he's a special boy. He's a very special boy. Oh, nice. Okay. This might not be my favorite card, but that's okay. Not everyone has to be my favorite. <laughs> not everyone has to be my favorite. This is not coming together essentially the way that I wanted it to, but it is okay. It's okay. Not everyone has to be perfect, and I'm not going to love everyone as much. Um, wow, that was a mess. Um, okay, I did gold for my... For my embossing so I need to take a I need to have a template here of my card where my hole needs to go and Cooper Reed that is unacceptable at the door. Okay. 
Okay. I'm like, where did that come from? All right. So now, what can I add to this that's going to make me love it? Oh, gosh, friends. I have taken a lot of time on this card for a card that I don't even really love. But that's okay. It's all right. I need to ink. I need to ink my edges. Maybe that'll make me love it a little more. I don't know. I don't know. No guarantees. No guarantees. Not necessarily. I like the back. The back is pretty. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to add a tab. Let me find, okay, I'm going to take this paper and I have a, my tab punch here and I'm going to Punch a tab. And ink it up. Okay. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to put a tab on here and I'm going to put it on this side. Yes, yes, I am. Yep, I'm covering up several things here, but that's okay. And what I'm going to do is, ouch. I feel like I have a, do I have a butterfly charm? So I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to find the perfect charms that I'm going to put into my tab. So um, pausing you again. found a couple charms that I liked. And so I found one that says, live, I don't know if you can read that, live with no regrets. And I found one that is the world. And then I found a little red bead. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my little small hole here. And I'm going to put a small hole on there with a little gold one here. I've got to change my setting real quick. And crimp that. And then I got, so enjoy your journey, live with no regrets. I, I kind of like that one actually. So I think I'm gonna use this one.
And um, for now, let's see, actually, it just dawned on me that I want to use a, that I don't want to use a pin. I want to use a, um, I want to use one of those. So bear with me, friends. This is me. I am not a jewelry maker. Um, yep, I just have, seriously, you guys, I have so much stuff in my collection of things. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, so this goes on first. And I'm going to do this. Put it through here. I don't know if this is the right way or the wrong way or the way it's supposed to be done, friends. I really, truly don't. I, like I said, I'm not a jewelry maker. I have the things. Oh, that makes me love it more. Maybe it's just all the things on the tags that I like. I don't know. Um, I don't really know. It's just stuffing things, friends. Just stuffing things. Okay. So, anyhow, back to our E. So, this is our week five, letter E, enjoy and embossed. Enjoy is our word. Embossed is our technique or method or style or whatever you have here. And so while it's not my favorite card, I still, the meaning is there. And I could come back. Maybe I'll add some stitching to this one. Maybe that will make it come together for me. I don't know. This is a menagerie, and it just is what it is. Um, but anyway, friends, I've got my embossed papers. I've got my embossed stamped world map here. Um, enjoy your journey. Live with no regrets. So again, comment below, like, share, um, make sure you're using the hashtag so that I know that you're participating. And friends, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you're getting something out of it. Even when my videos are hot mess videos, um, I'm real, I'm authentic. This is who I am. And I just appreciate you guys checking in and being here with me um, every time that you tune in. So until next time, friends, please enjoy your journey. Um, have fun with this uh, challenge and make sure that you um, let me know you're watching because a surprise could be coming. Until next time, friends, please be well. We'll chat again soon. Take care.